Okay, so medical case of the day, you're gonna wanna hear this one. This is a 34 year old female who presents to your clinic with ongoing hip and lower back pain. She states that she's had this pain for the past two years. She's had extensive workups, which include x-rays, MRI, blood work testing, with no real answers. She's also gone under a lot of treatment and therapies, but hasn't really found any relief. She participates in yoga and describes herself as very flexible. She used to be very active and describes herself as double jointed as well. Upon further questioning, she describes a history of recurrent ankle sprains in the past, but her ankles aren't bothering at this point in time. She's very frustrated with her symptoms as she can no longer do what she wants to do. She's given up running entirely and her participation in her yoga classes has been very limited. She also noticed from time to time when she changes position, she'll actually get a very uh, fast racing heartbeat as well as from time to time she also notices rashes on her skin but doesn't really have an explanation for it. On physical examination she can hyperextend both her knees and her elbows past negative 10 degrees. She can also bring her thumb back to her forearm as well as hyperextend her pinky finger. When asked to bend at the waist she can touch her hands flat on the ground so she is very flexible. On review of her MRIs and x-ray imaging, they are completely negative. Normal findings, nothing out of place, no fractures, dislocation, everything looks good. On review of her autoimmune panel, she has no autoimmune conditions that are listed. Um, routine panels we send are for lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, things like that, Lyme disease. This is a really tricky one, but I see a lot of patients with these type of symptoms. Maybe they're more severe, maybe they're more mild. What do you think the diagnosis is? Well, if you guessed correctly, you would have said Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This is a connective tissue disorder and leads to hypermobility and subluxation, sometimes even dislocations of the joints, which causes ongoing back, hip, very commonly ankle sprains and back and hip pain, and usually the images are negative. The rash in the racing heart is POTS and mast cell activation syndrome, which very commonly accompany this. And the treatment is very much symptomatic, but these patients are usually in a lot of pain. It's very hard to control their symptoms. Hope you got it right. Join me for the next one. Okay.